Jacks to its friends, this youthful city in northeast Florida occupies a huge area, the largest of any in the contiguous United States. So you can soak up the big city energy downtown, watch the Jaguars at TIAA Bank Field, walk the riverfront and hop across the river aboard the Jacksonville water taxi. But Jacksonville is also 22 miles of white sands at the beaches, a chain of coastal settlements on the barrier island to the east. Some of the most ancient artifacts in the country have been discovered in the Timucuan Preserve, equivalent to a national park and comprising a gigantic protected space with wetlands, forgotten plantations, and eerie beaches where maritime woodland has been overcome by the Atlantic. So, here is the list of the 12 best things to do in Jacksonville, Florida. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for the latest upcoming travel videos. Here we go. Number 1. Atlantic Beach. Jacksonville isn't located right on the beach, but it won't take you long to get to the coast. Head 16, miles east along Route 10, and you'll find yourself in the charming town of Atlantic Beach. Once the first year-round Native American settlement in North America, Atlantic Beach now features vacation rentals, laid-back eateries, golf courses, and, of course, a long stretch of soft sand. However, travelers warn that the summer months bring heavy crowds to the shoreline. Travelers say that spring and fall offer excellent weather and plenty of space to sprawl. Plus, there's plenty to do here even when the temperatures aren't conducive to a beach visit, including a shore stroll, a favorite activity among recent visitors. You can visit Atlantic Beach at any time, day or night, and access is free. However, other attractions around town may operate on different schedules. Number 2. Little Talbot Island State Park Take the scenic A1A out of downtown Jacksonville and after crossing St. John's and Fort George Rivers you'll be on an undeveloped, 2,500-acre barrier island. Coming from Jacksonville's low-lying terrain you'll be struck by Little Talbot Island's hilly woodland of skyscraping pines, southern live oaks, and ferns, all growing on ancient dunes. The four-mile dune ridge trail passes beneath the branches of live oaks draped with Spanish moss and is fringed by the spicy bay, cedar, palmetto, and holly. Eventually, you'll be out in the open dunes and on the beach, where the bleached skeletons of trees line the shore. There's a full-facility campground at Little Talbot Island, which also rents out bicycles and canoes if you want to discover the salt marsh to the west of the island, a haven for nesting and migrating birds. Number 3. Riverside in Avondale. At this residential area, a short way up the St. John's River from downtown you'll encounter Jacksonville at its most genteel. Riverside took shape towards the end of the 19th century on former plantation land and has lots of bungalow plantation-style houses. Avondale came later, in the early 20th century, as a single-planned neighborhood. Homes in the latter are mostly in the Mediterranean Revival style, in fashion in the 20s and 30s. There was ample provision for green space in Avondale, at 15, pocket parks, and the streets are wreathed in the foliage and blooms of live oaks, dogwood, magnolias, azaleas, and palms. The Cummer Museum is in this part of town, as is Five Points, a young and cool enclave of little shops, cafe terraces, nightclubs, and craft breweries. Here look for the two-screen Sunray Cinema, in business since 1927 and still going strong. Riverside and Avondale is one of the largest districts on the National Register of Historic Places in the United States. Number 4. Fort Caroline National Memorial. Located on the Timucuan Ecological and Historic Preserve, which also houses Kingsley Plantation, Fort Caroline National Memorial aims to tell the story of the French colonial presence in 16th century Florida. In addition to short walking trails, the site also houses a visitor center with exhibits detailing the preserve's natural history and environment, European exploration and settlement, and the Temucua Indians. 
There is also a scaled-down replica fort that was built in 1964 and is based on historic drawings of the original French fort. Past visitors applauded the impressive St. John's River views and the scenic nature trails found at Fort Caroline. Number 5. Catherine Abbey Hannah Park. Sitting between the developed beaches area and the village of Mayport is a rare pocket of mature maritime hammock woodland edged by a long strip of beach. Hannah Park is a 450-acre paradise if you want to forget your cares on the beach or take part in some wild activities. You can zoom off along 15 miles of mountain biking trails, some of which have dropped in turns to test expert riders. There's also a 60-acre lake on a former sand quarry for canoeing and kayaking. Close to the lakeshore are shaded patches where you can escape the sun and scan the banks for alligators and birdlife. On its north side is a playground and splash pad for wee ones. The white sandy beach looks like something out of a brochure and has the kind of waves that surfers travel for, provided you already know your way around a board, the poles at the top end of the beach is the best surf spot on the first coast. Number 6. Kingsley Plantation At the Kingsley Plantation, on Fort George Island east of the city, you can take a trip back to the 19th century. This is a good example of a grand southern mansion from the pre-Civil War days and a lifestyle that, thankfully, died with the Confederacy. There's a plantation house, a kitchen house, a barn, and the remains of some 25 slave cabins. Zephaniah Kingsley was the master of the plantation, and he later married one of his slaves, who became a successful businesswoman and property owner. However, discrimination against her and her family caused them to move to what is now the Dominican Republic. The Kingsleys were not the original owners of this land, however. Native Americans lived here more than a thousand years ago, and some visitors swear they've spotted several ghosts on the property. Number 7. Florida Theater. Located in the heart of downtown Jacksonville, the Florida Theater is one of the last theaters of its kind. It was built as a high-style movie palace in the 1920s, and it retains its vintage look to this day. It's even listed on the U.S. National Register of Historic Places. Despite its relevance as a cultural icon, however, the Florida Theater is still a fully functional arts center. It hosts everything from ballet performances to showcases of contemporary dance and theater, so there's always something on the schedule. It's a great place to go for couples on date night or families who are looking for something new and different on their Jacksonville vacation. Are you ready to get some culture? Put the Florida theater on your schedule tonight. You'll be patronizing a local, historic business while also enjoying a fun show. Number 8. Amelia Island. About 30 miles northeast of downtown Jacksonville, the relaxed community of Amelia Island draws families in droves with its 13 miles of beaches, historic attractions, and laid-back atmosphere. In the 1930s, 1940s, and 1950s, Amelia Island also provided a safe vacation haven for Jacksonville's black residents. Florida's first black millionaire, Abraham Lincoln Lewis, purchased 200 acres of beachfront on Amelia Island and called it American Beach. Here, black vacationers could enjoy the island without the threat of racial discrimination or violence. In 2002, the beach was placed on the National Register of Historic Places. To learn more about the beach's culture, stories and heritage, consider a visit to the American Beach Museum. Recent visitors particularly recommended laying your towel along the shores of Fernandina Beach, a small community that stretches along the northern part of the barrier island. Number 9. Caddy Shack Ranch. If you've never seen a group of tigers tearing into an animal carcass, it's time to visit the Caddy Shack Ranch. Located in northeast Jacksonville, this wildlife sanctuary is devoted to big cats of all kinds, including lions, leopards, tigers, pumas, and lynxes. They're rescued from dangerous situations and given forever homes on the ranch. Tours are available during the day and at night. 
You can observe the animals, ask questions, watch them feed, and learn fun facts about their species. If you get lucky, they'll be in a frisky, active mood, and you'll get to see how wild animals play together. Consider the Caddy Shack Ranch if you're looking for cool places to visit in Jacksonville. It will provide a one-of-a-kind experience while you're traveling in Florida, and it'll make for a great story when you get home. Number 10. The Museum of Science and History. Mosh. The Museum of Science and History specializes in a variety of outstanding permanent and temporary exhibits that focus on science and local history. Located on the famous South Bank Riverwalk, the museum is one of the city's top attractions. Signature exhibits at the museum include brain teasers, Featuring brain-boosting skills to explore the innermost workings of the mind while traveling exhibits include full-scale skeletons, fossils from around the globe, and dinosaurs unearthed, an interactive exhibition that features life-size dinosaurs. The museum also showcases the Brian Gooding Planetarium, one of the largest single-lens digital dome planetariums in the United States. Watch live star shows, cosmic concerts, and productions at the Alexander Brest Space Science Theater, as well as plays, presentations, and community events. Number 11. Jacksonville Zoo and Gardens. Often hailed as one of the best zoos in the United States, the Jacksonville Zoo may confound your expectations for what a zoo can be. This attraction is engaged in dozens of conservation programs worldwide and has groundbreaking enclosures that are both humane and exciting to experience. Along those lines is Land of the Tiger, which allows its Sumatran and Malayan tigers to pass overhead on a raised trail system. The award-winning range of the Jaguar meanwhile recreates a rainforest environment, complete with Mayan ruins containing habitats for anacondas, pygmy marmosets, Amazon tree boa constrictors, and poison dart frogs. In one enclosure here, capybaras, giant anteaters, and howler monkeys exist side by side, while sun bitterns, red-capped cardinals, and macaws perch in the canopy just above the trails. Number 12. Cummer Museum of Art and Gardens. The Cummer Museum of Art is one of Florida's favorite art museums that hosts one of the best art collections in the Southeast. Housed in a series of 20th century buildings that overlook the state. Johns River, the museum has more than 6,000 works of art spanning the period between 2100 B.C. and the 21st century, with distinct genres of European and American paintings. The museum also boasts the Wark collection of early mice and porcelain. The museum is surrounded by beautifully manicured gardens, the oldest of which date back to 1903 and some of which have recently been added to the National Register of Historic Places. The 2.5 acres of gardens boast unique examples of early 20th century garden design, featuring tranquil reflecting pools, ornate fountains, antique ornaments, and eye-catching sculptures. The last word. So, guys, this was the best list of things to do in Jacksonville. Hope you will like it and appreciate it. People who come to this city are amazed by all of the awesome things there are to do and see. On land, Jacksonville is home to the largest urban park system in the nation, with 10 state and national parks. Its authentic cuisine, thriving craft beer scene, and fun and cosmopolitan nightlife make Jacksonville a unique destination. So, if you love to travel and you want to see the whole world then Tripoyer is the channel that gives you a list of the best places to visit in the USA. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icons for latest upcoming travel videos. Bye bye, see you.